Hello students, thanks for tuning in. In class we were calculating these values for what I highlighted here in red and here in green. And we were getting different values. So there's a good chance we may have been making some calculation errors along the way. We're going to do this in Google Sheets and that way the chance of making human error is much less. So I'm going to ask you to follow along with me. We can highlight this data or this table. I'm going to do control C. So let's go up here and do uh, copy. And then we're going to open a new sheet, spreadsheet. And as you can probably guess, we're going to paste And um, we're going to clean it up, well, uh, clean it up a little bit. So the first thing we can do is get rid of this um, row. We don't really need to do that. Have that there. Delete that row. And um, I'm also going to take this row here. I'm going to wrap the text so that we can see the full labels. And um, OK. Now, at this point here, we have these numbers. And these numbers, I think we all agree on. They were from the lab that we did. I'm going to copy and paste these numbers over to the other sheet. So paste them here. OK. And um, what's missing here? We're just missing the word total. Okay, now, total mass of prey eaten per year by owl. This is where spreadsheets get really handy. So we can say we want this value to equal the number of prey per year, whatever this number is in this cell, times, which is the asterisk, whatever the mass of that prey is, and then hit enter. Whoops, I didn't like that. Why not? Um, okay, so we have to do one thing with this here, which is going to highlight it and, okay, I know, so we need to step back a minute. So before we go and paste this in, we're going to do a special kind of a paste. So just to backtrack and to remind you, we took our data from class, highlighted it, we did copy, and then we went over here, and this time we're going to do paste special, paste the values only. So now it's no longer referencing the cell that we took it from over here. Now we should be able to say, make this cell equal that number times this number, enter, and there we go. So we just did what we call a formula in Google Sheets. We can take that formula now and we can fill it all the way down the row here. So all I did for that was I just clicked on this little blue square and dragged it down. And you'll see that for each one, it was doing the same operation, multiplying the first column number by the second column number. OK, now if, you want to, if we want to convert all these numbers to kilograms, we can just divide by 1,000, since there are 1,000 grams per kilogram. So now we can say equals, that's always how you start a formula, this number divided by 1,000, and then hit enter. We can also fill that down. And just let's do a reality check. This is 33,520, should become 33.52. Okay, we're all good there. Now for finding the total down here, there's some nice built-in functions in Google Sheets. If you go to this symbol up here, it's called sigma, and we can click on it and choose sum, and it's waiting to know what numbers do we want to add up. So then we can tell it by just highlighting these numbers and hitting enter. All right, so now we have that. Next, we have um, how much biomass was eaten by the prey for each other kilogram of mass. So now we want to take this number, um, we want to take this number here and multiply it by this number here and hit enter. Oh, okay, I didn't like that. And I sort of expected that. 
because when we put kilograms with a number, it no longer sees it as a number, so it can't do any math with it. It just sees it as some text. But if we get rid of the kilogram, now it sees it as text, and now it's happy. So what we need to do is get rid of the kilograms over here. And now we can take this number, this uh, function, and fill it down. And just like we did before, we want to do summing. So equals sum. And highlight this. And get 29,516. Um, however, we could have done something different instead. We also could have taken this formula, which is for this chunk here. And we could have just copy and paste it. So copy and paste that over to this column, and we would also get the same thing happening. It would just be forming the sum of these five cells above it. OK, I think that we have numbers that are legit. And let's go with these numbers for completing, for building, for drawing our biomass pyramid.